Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. My name is Rain Day, and how are you doing today, guys? I hope you're doing well. Obviously, life is one day at a time, and everybody has ups and downs on those days. But I really do hope that today is one of those ups for you. And if it's a down, that we can maybe help you. We got a motivational quote coming out at the first of our videos, as we've been trying to do lately, before I take you into the brand new CB27 patch in Paladins, which is the bomb. Literally, and show you guys the bomb king. So let's take a look at the quote before we get started, and that quote actually is called Facing Fear. When a resolute young fellow steps up to the great bully, the world, and takes him boldly by the beard, he is often surprised to find it comes off in his hand and that it was only tied on to scare away the timid adventurers. By Ralph Waldo Emerson, essayist and philosopher. Now, this is an amazing quote, and this is actually something that I find very true. I think the universe tests us. I think it actually puts our prizes in front of us, but not before it says, do you really want it? And that is, to me, one of the most interesting things. When people ask me if I really want something, it doesn't matter what I say. It matters what I do. It matters if I go and grab the beard. It may look like I want it, but I'm not willing to go ahead and stand up to those things that I want, the difficult challenges in the way of those things that I want, then I'm not putting my body, my actions on the line. This doesn't mean doing anything dangerous. What this can often mean is just doing something maybe a little scary. Maybe that's uncomfortable, but really saying to the world, to the universe, hey, I want this. So hopefully that helps inspire you today. Maybe there's something you want. You want to go take the beard off of something that scares you and show that you are one of those adventurers, the ones that deserve to be going on that adventure and not just like everybody because you know what? Everybody wants a million dollars. Everybody wants a million followers on YouTube. Everybody wants that, but who's going to get it? Who's going to do what it takes? Who's going to basically be the guy that's the real adventurer and not the timid one? Anyways, here we go on Bomb King. We've got a really cool kit coming out on this guy. He's a blaster, which in Paladins, what that basically means is he's blasting people. It's pretty obvious. It's pretty cool. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys this on Enchanted Forest, which looks like the map will be playing. Now, if you don't know, I was casting Paladins on Twitch.tv slash DreamHack, not slash DreamHack, at DreamHack slash TV with Dry Bear and Vox Tempest this last weekend in Sweden. It was amazing. I just got back. And the funny thing is, like, everybody is sick. Uh, so pretty much it was a very tough scenario to do your best and stay healthy. But we managed it out and I think put on a really good show for people interested in caring about Paladin. So now let's get into the game. Let's talk about Bomb King. Bomb King, like a blaster, as I said, looks freaking cool. Uh, really amazing. If you just got into Paladins and you feel your view is weird, you want to go here to FOV and put it to pretty much max. Uh, they changed this. They got a lot of feedback about it. Um, they've changed a lot of things, but that's what you want to do so you can see as much as possible when you're with your character. Now, Bomb King has several loadouts. I'm going to be doing this, which allows me to kind of pop myself up a little bit more and it also allows me to have more air control so I can pretty much use this as like a way to get away to distract people as you see some of these cards here um, are different as well the loadout of the burn cards which is basically in-game upgrades so the card loadout I'll be picking uh, is before but now I can pick these cards depending on what I want uh, I'm gonna go with uh, kill to heal I'm gonna try that out and we're gonna go ahead and use that so I'll be getting if I get a kill I'll be getting 25% uh, lifesteal of my health back basically from that burn car. Let me just double check. Actually, I don't know how to double check. Wow, why did I? And I got off my mouse. Okay, well, pro pro paladins, pro Bob King gameplay already. Jeez. All right, uh, let's go ahead. So we're into the fishing village. They're already captured. So I want to take a little bit of a different route than my man. They're going to be looking for us. And I want to let them engage. And then I'm going to come around the back. Now, Bob King throws these blasters. And immediately, I'm going to drumpy bomb there. I'm going to get out of dodge, right? I knew someone was basically going to be essentially going after me. I'm in a bad spot here. I want to see if I can get away from the pip. Kinesa sniping me and there's nothing I could do there. Kinesa had a great snipe position. She got me a couple of times and, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're not really doing what we need to do here on this side here. Androxus fighting Androxus. Uh, hopefully we get the kill. Come on, baby. Okay, we got him. We got him. Now, they're going to look like they're going to get the fishing village. Um, Kinesa had really good sniping and uh, pretty much I got hit a lot by pip. So, uh, let's see if we can do it. Two enemies on the point. 85. We have a chance. Our Ying is around there, but it looks like they're going to win this one. So, objective loss. And now, throw that down. Get a little damage. Now, the combos from uh, Bomb King come from pretty much being able to stick people with this multiple times. Right? And you can kind of detonate whenever. Okay? So, I'm doing that. I'm detonating. We're going to throw this down. Grumpy Bomb. We're going to do a bunch of damage. Anyone around, they're going to get slowed. And we're basically going to stop this area. So, again, we didn't win that first point. That's okay. Getting used to getting used to uh, the Bomb King. But we are going to be able to, if they try and get near this payload, 
do a ton of damage. So pretty much you could stick your bombs on the payload, throw this grumpy bomb around. Nobody's getting anywhere near there, man. Now, if they do, of course, they're going to have those bombs. Ooh, Androxus. I got a little damage on him. Obviously, it sticks. We explode that as well. Uh-oh. And we throw this poppy bomb. What that could, could be able to do... Uh, of course, there's some stealth stick. Ooh, nice job. Nice job. Oh, let's see if we can dodge this. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. I should be just getting out of dodge here because I could easily get killed by the pit. Oh, nice. Got up in the portal. Now I got a little bit of healing. I'm going to heal myself. Actually, oh, come on, man. Let's go. Let's long range. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Come on. We need that Knessa. There we go. There we go. Throw that over there. There we go. Great throw. Ton of damage there. We got the stun as well. Almost getting it. Not enough. The Knessa. Nice. We did get the kill. Fantastic. Now, of course, my ultimate. You want to know what that's about. Oh, we got the kill there as well. Throwing the bomb. You could detonate that. Oh, got another one. Looks like. Oh, look at that long-range damage. Let's see if we can find the pip again. And we just might be able to. This is a really good spot for me to be, so I want to stay here. Uh, a couple of members of my team, one holding the point, one kind of forward pressuring. We've got 25 seconds left. Now, Poppy Bomb's going to basically be an unstable bomb. That's my F. That's going to basically knock me up uh, and knock anyone that I throw it around. So if I throw around the payload and I do a, a, a really good throw, pretty much what that'll do... Okay, that's not quite there yet. No, no. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Defense successful. That's what I like to see. And uh, so there we go. We got that. Burn cards are lost. So now we're going to pick up some new burn cards. So now we've got life rip. So I'm going to try this. Fit, gain 15% from the damage I'm doing. Because it's quite a lot of damage. I don't have enough to buy any other burn cards. But let's try life rip. I haven't tried it this patch yet. 15%. Um, I'm doing a lot of area damage. So, like, that'll be that'll be quite a lot. I mean, I'll be getting, like, maybe 45, I don't know, 60 health per per hit. And if I hit more and more, one of his kit is basically if you stick any bomb onto somebody and you hit them with multiple bombs, the next bombs after the initial bomb, which will do 500 damage, will do 15% more damage to them. So, uh, that will be a, a difference maker there. Now, we're going to take this. We're going to go with our squad. I want to see if I can stick Grok. There's Knessa. There we go. That's easy peasy. Great stuff. There's Poppy Bomb. We knocked him away. Ooh, but there's the self damage. There we go. Got the area damage as well. There we go. And we're healing up. Now, we got to see. We got to stay out of sight here. Mount up and just move a little bit. Where's the Knessa coming from? We've got the objective here. Should be it. There we go. Got Cassie coming around the corner. Throw that poppy bomb. Knocks him up, as you can see. Oh. Not much I could do here. Oh, man. Yeah, Pip was just in two close quarters for me. Not much I could do. The thing is, when you get close to him, he does self-damage. And it's quite a lot of self-damage. You could have some cards that mitigate that self-damage. But uh, it, it, it doesn't necessarily matter. So we want to push. So let's see if we could do this as a group, as a unit. Want to push this payload for sure. Keep an eye on where everybody's at. There's Cassie. There we go. Good. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Let me get out of here. Whoa! Again. Pip going on me, man. He's on a four streak. He's killed me twice. I really was trying to pop myself up. That was pretty uh, unfortunate there. Ah, Androxus up on top. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we got that vision. So right now, I want to I wanna basically long range this. I want to get Knessa off of what she's doing. That's, that's key for me. We need to get Knessa out of there. 
You can set these little traps. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Grab this. Now let's use this ultimate, huh? No! I knew he was going to ghost walk. Dang. Very good job. I can't let... Oh, who got me? Pip! Oh my goodness gracious. Man! This sucks. This sucks. That was not the best... Uh, that was not the best use of my ultimate here. Uh, which would have just done a ton of damage, but he ghost walked out of it. Oof. Come on, mama. Come on, mama. Man. All right. 3-3. Three, three. Well, I don't mind this. I don't mind this. 3-3. Three, three. Pretty tight game here. Um, Increase my reload speed. That's interesting. Nimble. Reduce cooldown on all my abilities. I wouldn't mind Kronos on this guy. It's a very expensive card, but it's going to give me some extra cooldown, which I like. I'll grab that. No. What I'd rather have is uh, some pip. Some pip damage, and then we'll grab Equestrian. So I can get on my horse and move a little faster. Now, the reason Equestrian is pretty good um, is, is for several reasons. One, you've got the fact that movement speed was nerfed. So now mount speed is that much more, like, desirable, essentially. Uh, so where are we going? Let's see. Where do we want to go? I say we all jump around. Perfect. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Good. 350. There we go. We got him. There we go. Bomb King. So, pretty much what you guys will see is that uh, I'm detonating right now. I want to get on my mount. I want to move forward. I want to get up here. Got him. So literally, that's a one-hit kill almost because each of those bombs does 500 damage, right? So it's quite a lot. Cannot believe I stuck her from that long range. Oh, and Knessa and Androxus got me there. Okay. Quite a lot. Quite a lot. Okay. I don't know if we need to be on the payload, guys. That's definitely not really what Ying wants to do. But if they forced a ghost walk already, what we need to do is kind of... Okay, we got him. Where's Knessa at? Give me this. Come on. Yeah, I got it. Oops. You ain't got it now, bro. Give me that. Shiza. Shiza. There we go. 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 Come on. Come on. Come 
Let me get out of there. No. No way. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Tempest. Huge. Huge. We got it. Come on. Come on. We got it. Oh, my God. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him, guys. Come on. No. <laughs> we don't have it anymore. Wait, can I get there? Can I get there? Please. Come on, squad. Come on, squad. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got the round, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So, um, I like going against Blast Shields. I like Equestrian. Let's do that again. I like being able to maneuver. So, you guys often see, you know, when, you, when you're not there, we have basically seven to three. So, if we get this next capture point, we win. We've been doing really well on capture points. Um, it could be random at this point because we've done three points. Uh, so, yeah, Fishing Village, which is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. That's the middle point. We did really well on that. They did not contest us at all. Kinesa, although she can snipe well there, she can get picked off really easily. So, we got to get Kinesa out of the fight. Start taking these points. I'm going to look for the area damage. Actually, no, this is not what we did really well on. This is where we actually lost. This is the first point. Oh, we, we were really late to this. And they're not going to be late because they know they have to get this. They are not going to be late. I need to stick somebody. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. Back it up. Back it up. Get out of here. Stay alive. It's perfect. All right, all right. This is perfect, baby. This is perfect. I saw you running around here. Give me that booty. Give me that booty. Give me that. I will take this, sir. Give me that. Grok, you, you wait. What? All right, throw that out there. Nobody's going to be coming this way. Boom! And that's the victory. Let's go. Let's go. Bomb King in the house. As you guys can see, Bomb King, very fun. Very cool character. Um, You know, and we, we got the win, which is great. Most damage, most eliminations, top kill streak, most debuffs, most solo kills. Okay. All right. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Shout out to Tixo. Nice score. Tixo and Vetsu. 12 and 4, pretty good. Pretty good. How did I get most solo kills if he got four solo kills? I don't understand that. Top streak, what? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't really understand. Ugh. Boy like me, don't really get it. Top damage, though, I did do that. So Bomb King doing a lot of damage. Still not really comparable to a pip because his damage is a lot harder to confirm because you got to throw and detonate. But he can really set up a lot of traps. Uh, it's really hard to fight on the point if you are a bomb. If you have a bomb king on the enemy team, I could see team comps using this guy really, really well. Um, and I think again, he's a very, very cool character. So this has been a look at him. Um, hopefully, you guys like him. Hopefully, you guys enjoy him. I, I really do enjoy him. I, I'm really excited to keep playing him and getting better. I notice myself getting better. One of the things that I'm really not good at right now is using the poppy bomb to get myself up or to actually throw other people away. That's one of the mechanics that I'm really not used to using very well and so i really need to start working on that i think to be a really good bomb king you're gonna have to use the poppy bomb to blow yourself up to blow people away strategically plant it so that you can really use it almost as that big knockback like drogos uses his expectorator or fire spit now uh it's gonna be a big deal but it's just something that i have totally not maximized at all and so that was obviously missing from this gameplay but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. hopefully you had fun i had fun with this one and uh, again stay tuned for some more paladins we're gonna be covering the new characters coming out as well as some gameplays here and there of course there's some more cb27 cool stuff that happened with combos and all that that i want to show you guys on maybe uh androxis or maybe cassie or something she, they show it really really well so uh anyways yeah Thanks so much, guys, for watching. As always, if you like the video, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, stay tuned to Rain Day Gaming for more content like this here on the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And, as always, remember to never give up, never stop gaming, and I'll see you guys next time.